Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren, the film student extraordinaire. And today we are going to be talking about what I eat in today videos and why I think they are potentially more harmful than beneficial. Kissing you with my eyes open. Before we get really into it though, I just want to say this is not meant as an attack on anyone who does these videos or I don't I don't want anyone to be like, I don't know, trolling anybody, but I just was really inspired to make this video after watching a ton of Abby Sharp videos. She is a dietitian, nutritionist lady on YouTube and she like reviews a lot of these videos and kind of talks about you know, uh, whether they're unhealthy, the, what they're eating, or what they're really representing. And I just thought that was really interesting because up until I started really watching her videos, I never really thought about any of that stuff when I would be watching a What Night Eat A Day video. I'd feel like, oh wow, like this person really eats really well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why don't I eat like that? Also, we're back to the, we're back to the notebook today. So, oh, huh. Good thing I wrote this down. Another disclaimer. Um, some of the topics that come up might have to do with like extreme eating or eating disorder or disorder eating tendencies. So please, if that makes you feel like uncomfortable, please don't watch this video. So first let's consider like maybe you don't know what a what I eat a day video is. And I will try to find some clips to like kind of put here. Basically, it's when someone walks through their day. For example, I have some juice right here, so maybe like, so every morning I start off my day with a cup of apple juice and a granola bar. My granola bar's already eaten. But like, I don't actually start that off every day, or maybe they just say this ahead for this morning, and you might be like, wow, that's what she's every morning. And here's like a good example. So it really just shows one morning. Some people say like what I ate this week, which is a little more varied. Because, for example, yesterday I had cereal and juice, and the other day I had oatmeal and juice. So, what I eat in a day videos aren't really necessarily, um, they don't really portray maybe your whole actual diet or anything like that. So, also I really just lean back, this chair kind of like bounces, so that's what's up. So basically it just shows what you eat. So what do you have for lunch? If you have any snacks? And some people are more detailed than others. Some people just kind of show their different foods, say why why they had this food today, like what they're feeling. Other people go like really into like serving sizes and maybe calorie amounts. It really seems to depend on who the specific person making the video is. If you're into like gym and fitness, they are usually a little more specific, but like a lifestyle um, influencer vlogger is usually from my knowledge, like a little less specific. You may be like, this seems like a super innocent thing to do. Like you're really just showing what you eat. And like I have shown what I eat when I do like a day in the life. I kind of just talk about my food, but I don't really go as much detail in specifically what I eat today, which also has to do with preparing the food and a lot of reasoning behind the food you eat. I, I you may have known or may not know from like my channel, I've had disordered eating, you know, tendencies in the past. So I definitely was like, wow, this kind of applies to me. I was reading some articles about this and it's like, people are obsessed in a way about what other people eat. And like, maybe that's why we like watching these videos and we kind of think, wow, like if we eat like this person, you know, maybe we'll look like them or maybe we'll be as successful as them or something like that. Which is when it starts to get a little bit negative because we don't really get to see someone's whole life. You just see what they ate like this one day and sometimes they're incredibly low calorie days where someone just has like a kale smoothie and then they have a tiny bit of salad for lunch and then they have like not that big of a dinner and you might be like how are they like so healthy or you might think well they're still like running around town like i could eat like that as well so these people are offering themselves up as kind of role models for often young girls and women and that can be really negative there are men who do what i do today videos but i don't feel as qualified to talk about them because i don't really watch those videos ever just because it doesn't really apply to me for the most part. On the other hand, there's also, these aren't necessarily what I eat in day videos, but sometimes people, there's like the whole mukbang thing where people eat enormous amounts of food and some people will have like big meals for what I eat in a day. And it makes you sort of also think like, okay, these people have crazy metabolisms or there's no way they eat like this every day. And just a lot of people don't clarify that this is not maybe their typical day. For example, like I generally eat probably the same amount of food, but if it's like my birthday or a holiday, like I'm gonna eat more food. Or like if it's Yom Kippur, 
I'm not eating all day until dinner. So like it's really depends. There's a lot of like situational factors that come into play here and it's just often not explicitly stated, which can be negative. And then of course, even though you feel like, hey, Lauren, you just talked about really extreme low calorie foods and then really high calorie meals. These seem like they're totally opposite. So don't they cancel each other out? Like it can't be that big of a deal. That's not the case. The thing is the time between these two types of eating is that they're very extreme eating behaviors. And these videos are normalizing extreme eating on both ends of the spectrum. And that's why I wrote some to make this video because you know, it might start out as like, I'm just watching somebody's like life and I like, like to see what they're up to. Or maybe you're watching someone's health and fitness journey and you start to think, okay, well, I'm gonna try to be like this person. Like they're waking up at six to wake work out. Like I'll do that. Or they're having this deep, I'll do that. And you're not recognizing the fact that we all have very different body types, body needs, and you really shouldn't be basing your diet off somebody else's diet and lifestyle because you have no idea like what else is going on behind the scenes. Also, not a ton of, especially like vegan lifestyle um, YouTubers, like a lot of their people in a day don't talk about supplements at all. Some of them do. And I didn't even think about supplements until I started watching Abby Sharp and she would comment on some of them if they mentioned they take like B12 or something like that because you're realizing people are getting their nutrients from different parts of, you know, different parts of their life, but they may not be all just strictly food. It might be vitamins and things like that. So it's like, you just don't necessarily know what's going on behind the scenes and you know, you should get advice from professionals. Like I would never tell somebody you should eat like the way I eat um, because like I literally have, like there's a nutritionist at Temple that I have seen, you know, less now, but especially like freshman summer, like I was seeing her a lot and she would work with me on what I was eating and what I should be eating. And that's where I kind of developed my current eating habits, especially at school because I was working with someone who's literally trained and qualified and who talked to me, who knew my, you know, my body type and my goals and my lifestyle. And, you know, I was getting this very personalized thing because when you're not just watching someone's wedding a day, you know, it's like a one and done thing. And it's unfortunately <laughs> food and eating is not a one size fits all thing, just not. And then you also might be thinking, well, okay, but I still don't see how this is necessarily so, so bad, but really one of your day videos, while I think the intentions are really good, sometimes can really veer into diet culture and the weight loss industry and being on a diet or trying to lose weight, those things are not bad on their own. Absolutely not. I'm not trying to say they are, but as someone who did struggle with body image issues and eating for a time, like it definitely is something that can really kind of pervade your brain and kind of sink in there. And you don't even really realize like what you're doing until it's kind of like too late. And when you watch these people who are publicly promoting how little they eat or how much they eat, if you suffer from like other types of eating disorders, then you might be thinking, okay, this is normal. It's okay. And like, it's not okay. And that's where I think the really the big problem that I see comes from. And that's really why I wanted this video. I know it's not that long. I'm not trying to make it a long video. I just wanted to, you know, share my opinion on this. Uh, yeah, I guess before I want to end, I do want to say it is, I don't think there's any problem with getting like food inspiration from other people. I follow some like food or baker accounts because I'm like, wow, one day when I can cook, I'm gonna make that. But when we take someone's lifestyle and try to copy and paste onto ourselves, that is where I think the problem lies. And that's all I wanna say. I made, as you all know, I made a really long video for Wednesday and I was like, I can't do that again for Friday. So this is it. If you thought it was interesting or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it because I like to know what you guys wanna watch. Feel free to comment anything you want down below and I will see you hopefully on Wednesday with another video. Bye.